I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Please give me the like and subscribe. Now, many of you iPhone users do not have an Apple based computer, be it uh, the Mac or MacBook or uh, even an iPad for that fact. Um, and you might think that your iPhone is just an isolated entity to itself but it's not. You can integrate it with your Windows system using the built-in app phone link. And I'll show you how to do that and you can see the wonderful things that you can do with it. Let's just jump right into it, okay? Okay, first thing you want to do is, and you got to have Windows 11. Okay, first thing you want to do is go into your search field and type in phone for phone link and you see the app displayed it's built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. Click on OK and it will launch the app. And then here's the use your mobile device from your PC and you have a choice of Android or iPhone. Obviously we're going to be going with iPhone. I have my iPhone 13 Pro here. And I click iPhone and you see that QR code. Okay, bring up the iPhone camera. You see the option there to pair your devices like that. And it brings this pop up. I go ahead and open it. It's the link to Windows. And continue pairing with Bluetooth. I will continue. Uh, link to Windows would like to use Bluetooth. You click OK. Okay, so it says you're almost there. Uh, turn on sync to access your contents. I'll click continue. And it says you're all set. Your iPhone is not paired with your PC. And welcome to Phone Link. With Phone Link, everything you love about your mobile device is now accessible from your PC. I can elect to open Phone Link whenever I log into Windows. Uh, I'll do that for now for demonstration purposes. <laughs> This is not, I have a MacBook and I, I, I'm just showing how this is possible. Okay, now a grant permission from your mobile device. Uh, so click on show me how. And on your iPhone, go to settings. Bluetooth, which is happens to be where I am. Uh, select the uh, PC. Oh, and there it is, synced, sync contacts. I can go ahead and elect to do that and I'm done with syncing contacts and now here are my calls that I've received and look at that you get a call log and let's see I want to make a phone call so I'm gonna go ahead and try that seven seven I have a phone number from a company I used to work with so I remembered their Memorize their phone to just do it for test purposes. Thank you for calling the Home Depot Atlanta Store Support Center. So look at that. So I can, from my desktop, initiate a phone call that's made through the iPhone. Okay, so let's, uh, and that is outbound. That's also for inbound. Okay, so I got a call coming in. And there it is. This is coming in from my iPad using Google Voice. Hello. Hello. Okay. So inbound calls, outbound calls work. Uh, contacts work. And... Um, It even shows the charge level of my iPhone at 55%. And, uh, and then messages. So grant permission from your device so you can use your text messages. Look at that. Okay, so show notifications and sync contacts to access. Okay, I did not show the actual text messaging uh, in terms of a demonstration. And that was because it just revealed too much personal info. You'd see who I was texting. There was no way to easily edit that out. And so I elected not to show it, but it does work. And whatever you text from your Windows side is synced to your iPhone, but not the other way around. 
that's how I understand it. And, uh, but at any rate, I, I do hope you like the content. Please subscribe to my channel and I will subscribe to yours if you have one. I'll watch your content and leave likes. And that way we help each other out. Until next time, bye-bye.